I'm Pam Seidel in East Scarborough on Lawrence, east of Morningside. A devastating and as yet unexplained crash this morning has left a 76-year-old pedestrian dead. It started about 10 o'clock when an on-duty City of Toronto employee was traveling westbound on Lawrence. For some reason, she lost control of her vehicle and hit that fence about 30 meters from here. The pickup truck continued onto the south side of Lawrence, and you can see the extent of the damage. These two cars were parked in the driveway. The impact sent one well into the yard. The victim, Marg Byrne, was walking with her best friend and neighbor of 50 years. She managed to escape the tragedy untouched. It was definitely an accident. The truck might have been going a little fast. Bob Hancock's 77-year-old wife Dorothy and Mark had been going for a walk every morning for the last eight years. Mark had recovered from breast cancer and especially now during the pandemic wanted to get fresh air and regular exercise. It was a fluke accident that happened in a split second. Dorothy managed to jump out of the way when she heard a loud car horn. Mark was not so lucky. Bob Hancock thinks it was a medical episode. When she passed out or whatever, she was holding the foot on the gas and that kept going kept going she wasn't even driving or steering it she's just laying on the horn honking after marg was hit the truck kept going and destroyed these two cars which were parked side by side in the driveway the accident has left this couple feeling traumatized and deeply saddened they're also feeling lucky that they escaped injury he had just come inside five minutes ago oh my God. and i was supposed to leave for work in five minutes oh so we were on that timeline. Paramedics worked on the victim for 20 minutes to no avail. She was pronounced dead at the scene. At first, the homeowners did not realize that someone had been struck. Oh, what was your uh, reaction when you realized that somebody had been hit and injured so badly? I lost control because that's why I was, I couldn't even answer questions to the 911. It was just hard. It's not clear what caused the driver of the pickup to lose control. Investigators are looking at all possibilities, including speed. Those are the things that our investigators will turn their mind to. And so we uh, are trained not to have tunnel vision. We uh, keep an open mind yeah. and we're collecting everything. So we're, everything's on the table. Distraction, speed, medical, sobriety, all of those things are factors. The City of Toronto employee was transported to hospital in shock. It's not clear uh, whether investigators have been able to talk to her yet. They also say they have spoken to some witnesses and there was some traffic on the road at the time, but they're hoping that those drivers might have captured some dash cam video that they will bring forward to police.